Let's try to do a linear convolution problem for continuous time signals. Let us try to convolve the signal x of t with h of t as shown in this figure. Okay, So you can see that both are rectangular functions. x of t is also a rectangular function whose range of support is from minus 2 to plus 2 and h of t is also a rectangular function whose range of support is from 0 to 2. The amplitude of x of t is 2 whereas the amplitude of h of t is 4. Now you can see that clearly that the width of x of t is twice that of h of t. Okay, So let's try to solve this problem. Okay, So the formula for convolution integral is given by y of t is equal to integral um, tau is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of tau into h of t minus tau d tau. So let's try to plot x of tau and h of t minus tau. Okay. So let's try to plot x of tau. So if I try to plot x of tau, it is same as x of t. So tau. Okay. So from minus 2 to plus 2 and the amplitude is 2 and this is x of tau okay and now i have uh, the h of uh, tau so h of tau will be okay so zero this is function of tau and this is h of tau and now if i try to plot it uh, yeah from zero to two amplitude is four here amplitude is two but I want h of minus tau plus t. So if I write h of minus tau, so h of minus tau. So if I write h of minus tau, so it is reflection. So I can write it that it exists from minus 2 to, uh, to 0 with amplitude 4. And now I want h of uh, minus tau plus t. So plus t if I want to write it is h of minus tau plus t if I write it and if I plot it so as a function of tau now this function is from t and t minus 2 with amplitude 4 so now we have to consider uh, this signal x of tau and h of t minus tau okay let's try to do that okay now, <coughs> so now you can see that uh, uh, when we want to multiply these two signals, right? When you are trying to multiply these two signals, we have to see that we'll keep the signal fixed. That is x of tau signal is fixed and we try to keep on moving h of t minus tau. And we'll see when for what intervals of uh, uh, t does it overlap, okay? So as t value is varied, okay. Let's see that now. Now, if you see that uh, in this uh, figure, when t uh, the uh, this is the right side, and then here this signal is existing from minus two to plus two. The signal is existing from t minus two to t. If you see that when t is less than minus two, the signals doesn't overlap, and hence y of t will be equal to zero. So let's try to see that condition when. Uh, t is uh, less than uh, minus 2 when t is less than minus 2 what what will be the scenario so this is the product now i have tried to plot this is say this is x of tau which exists from minus 2 to plus 2 this is function of uh, uh, tau okay now uh, this function of tau and now this is x of tau with amplitude 2 and this is for t less than minus 2 correct for t less than minus 2 i have this so let me consider this scenario uh, this is t which is less than obviously less than minus 2 and this is t minus 2 this is t minus 2 with amplitude 4 and this is the product x of tau into h of t minus tau you can see that the product does not overlap and for t less than minus 2 y of t is equal to 0 
okay now let's see the second scenario when t is greater than minus 2 but t minus 2 is less than minus 2 how will that scenario look like let us draw it so this is tau and say the signal is existing from minus 2 to plus 2 and we have this scenario okay sorry yeah it will become more broader yeah t is greater than minus 2 and t minus 2 is less than minus 2 what is the scenario we are trying to this is for amplitude 2 this is the amplitude 4 and this is the product x of tau and h of t minus tau okay so if i do that for t uh, greater than minus 2 for t greater than minus 2 and if you see that t minus 2 is less than minus 2 so combining this t less than minus 2 means if i shift this minus 2 to the right hand side i get t less than uh, 0 so because minus 2 would become uh, plus 2 and minus 2 plus 2 would become 0 so the range is for t ranging from minus 2 to 0 for t greater than minus 2 to t less than 0 the product is this and you can see the there is overlap only for tau uh, ranging from minus 2 from minus 2 to t so let us write so y of t is equal to so for what values of uh, uh, tau does it uh, overlap for tau ranging from minus 2 to t the product overlap and what is that 2 into 4 d tau because we know that x of tau is 2 and h of t minus tau is 4 so if i take this it's a simple integration 8 and uh, uh, t uh, minus 2 so it is t plus 2 so 8 into t plus 2 which is equal to uh, 8 t plus 16 so uh, these are the two scenarios let us consider the further two scenarios okay now the further two scenario would be uh, this is the next case say for tau okay the signal yeah minus 2 to plus 2 and now we have uh, the t uh, less than yeah greater than minus 2 and t minus 2 is greater than minus 2 okay so let's see that scenario what is the scenario this amplitude is 2 this amplitude is 4 so here what did i say yeah t is less than uh, 2 but and t minus 2 is greater than minus 2 okay because this t minus 2 is greater than minus 2 so if i shift it it becomes uh, t minus 2 minus will become plus greater than 0 so the combined interval will be t ranging from uh, greater than 0 and less than for this interval so what is the overlap of integration the integral exists only for tau ranging from okay t minus 2 to t so y of t uh, is equal to uh, integral uh, integral uh, tau is equal to uh, from t uh, minus 2 to t and the product is 2 into 4 d tau okay this is equal to 8 and and it's a constant so it's a tau tau upper limit minus lower limit it is t minus of uh, t minus 2 which gets evaluated to t and t would get cancelled and uh, minus into minus is plus so it becomes 16 so this is next so what will happen to the next scenario let's see that in the next scenario uh, this will be the case so this is tau this is minus 2 to plus 2 and the amplitude is 2 and this will be the scenario okay so uh, t minus 2 and this is t the amplitude is 2 the amplitude is 4 this is x of tau and this is uh, this is x of tau and this is h of t minus tau okay now so where will the integration exist for what values of tau 
tau ranging from t minus 2 to 2 okay so y of t uh, is equal to y of t is equal to y of t is equal to uh, integral uh, tau is equal to t minus 2 to 2 and integration is 2 into 4 uh, which is d tau which is equal to if I integrate this 8 and upper limit minus lower limit t 2 minus t minus 2 okay so simplifying this I get um, minus t so it is minus 8 t and minus minus plus 4 and it is plus uh, 32 okay so the last scenario what will be the last scenario if I consider the last scenario it is uh, tau and this is minus 2 to plus 2 this is 2 amplitude this is x of tau and this is h of t minus tau from t minus 2 to uh, t and this is h of t minus tau and the amplitude is 4 if you see the product uh, the product does not there is no overlap and when is this happening when t minus 2 is greater than 2 that means when t is greater than 4 when t is greater than 4 again there is no overlap let's uh, recollect if you see the intervals uh, okay now fine okay so this is the first case uh, we have run it uh, we have drawn plotted all the functions in the first plot again when t is less than minus 2 there is no overlap you can see here when t is less than minus 2 there is no overlap and then when t is between uh, minus 2 to 0 uh, this is the scenario and in the next case when t is between 0 to 2 this is the scenario uh, there is overlap only from uh, t minus 2 to t and in the next case for t ranging from oh i'm not written here okay so for t uh, <clears throat> here you can see that t is uh, greater than uh, 2 and uh, t minus 2 is less than 2 uh, shifting it here it becomes uh, uh, plus 2 so t plus 4 so t is between great uh, less uh, greater than 2 and less than 4 and this is the scenario and we got minus 80 plus 32 and finally for a t greater than 4 there is no overlap and this is what we get so summarizing it everything so we can write uh, the y of t as y of t is equal to y of t is equal to uh, 0 for uh, uh, t uh, less than uh, minus 2 and 8 t plus 16 uh, for uh, t ranging from minus 2 to 0 and it is 16 for uh, t ranging from uh, 0 to uh, 2 and finally it is minus 8t plus 32 for uh, a t ranging from uh, 2 to 4 and 0 when uh, t is greater than 4 so plotting it we get um, we get it as uh, okay so finally this is t i'm trying to plot y of t y of t exists from uh, for less than minus 2 it is 0 so minus 2 and then 0 and then 2 and then 4 okay so for minus 2 it is 0 let me plot it with a okay no problem okay so minus 2 it is 0 and from minus 2 to 0 it is uh, a straight line with slope 8 and uh, y-intercept 16 so we get this so y-intercept is 16 so let me plot this line at 16 and this is a straight line from minus 2 to okay this is that and then for the next interval it is 16 from 0 to 2 from 0 to 2 it is 16 and from 0 to 2 it is uh, okay so it is from 0 to 2 it is 
constant it is 16 it is touching y axis and then from uh, 2 to 4 from 2 to 4 it is again a straight line with negative slope minus 8 is the slope and y intercept is 32 if it touches if it is extended so here it is 16 at t is equal to 2 and when it is at t is equal to 0 if, if you extend obviously it will touch at 32 so this is straight line again this is one line this is another if I join it this will be the case and for t greater than 4 it is 0 okay this completes the problem okay yeah thank you